All right, so in this video, I'm going to be finding out which of these terms is bigger. So I'm comparing 1,000 to the power of 1,000 with 2,000 to the power of 500. So which of these two terms is greater than the other? So to find this out, what I'm going to do is start off by taking the 500 root on both sides. Well, not both sides, just for both, ter both the terms. Now, if I have something in the form the nth root of a to the power of m, this is the same thing as a to the power of m over n. So this is the same thing as 1,000 to the power of 1,000 over 500. And I'm comparing this to 2,000 to the power of 500 over 500. Now, 1,000 divided by 500 is equal to 2. So I get 1,000 to the power of 2, or 2,000 to the power of 500 divided by 500 is 1. And also, instead of just taking the 500 root, I can also instead take the power of 1 over 500, which is the same thing as the 500 root. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two multiply, and as you can see, I get the same thing. I get 1,000 to the power of 2, or 2,000 to the power of 500 times 1 over 500, which is 1. And obviously here, 1,000 squared, this is equal to write this here. I have a bunch of zeros here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Sorry, just one over here. So I get 1 million as the value for 1,000 squared. So I'm basically comparing 1 million with 2,000 to the power of 1, which is just 2,000. And obviously, 1 million is greater, meaning 1,000 to the power of 1,000 is greater than 2,000 to the power of 500. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 2 to the power of 16 minus 16. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting this as 2 to the power of 8 times 2 minus 16. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So this turns into 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 2 minus 16, which is 4 squared. And now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into 2 to the power of 8 plus 4 times 2 to the power of 8 minus 4. Now 2 to the power of 8 is the same thing as 256, so I get 256 plus 4 times 256 minus 4, which is equal to 260 times 252. Now 260 I can rewrite as 200 plus 60. 252 I can rewrite as 200 plus 52. So now if I distribute here, I get 200 squared plus 60 times 200 plus 52 times 60 plus 200 times 52. And this is equal to 40,000 plus 12,000 plus 3,120 plus 100, sorry, 10,400 
and now let me actually add these all up 40,000 plus 12,000 plus 10,400 plus 3,120 so now I'm going to add up all the zeros and now 0 plus 0 plus 0 is plus 2 is 2 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 1 is 5 2 plus 3 is 5 and 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6 so I get 65,520 as my solution for this expression now, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends or family. Also, make sure to check out more videos on my channel. I have a lot more videos like this one, which you guys can try to solve as a challenge. Thank you. Bye. All right, so for this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. So I'm going to first start by taking the power of 4 on both sides. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. Meaning I can switch the places of x to the power of 4 and 4. So now I get x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now I'm going to rewrite 64 as 8 squared. So now I have 8 squared to the power of 4, and these two actually multiply. So I get x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 8 to the power of 8, and this means that x to the power of 4 is equal to 8, and x is equal to the fourth root of 8. So this is my solution to this equation. If you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends or family. Thank you. Bye.